Yo, it's the Ronster, back at it with another personal electric vehicle. You may remember I made a video a while back on the Varla Eagle 1. This is another model they have. It's a little more affordable, still high performance. Really curious to see what kind of bang for your buck you get with this bad boy. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and get it on the road. All right, so the the Eagle One had a red frame that matched my Suron perfectly. This one's like a turquoise. It's actually a really nice color. It comes with a lock. No way. A little multi-tool, also nice touch. Looks like some spare brake pads in there too. Just taking a quick look at the warnings and I just thought this was really funny. Wheeling is prohibited and do not ride with one hand. That is probably the best piece of advice you can get for these scooters. So one last thing I want to say before I take it out for a ride is that it did come with some damage. Most notably would be here, 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 and right here. This part makes sense because you fold, you fold that down. And this is rubber. It should be rubbing up against that. So I don't know why it's so scratched up. If I purchased this scooter, I'd probably send them an email and see what they can do. One thing I really do like though are the fat tires. They're actually... There's no inner tube, these are solid. These can roll over legitimately anything and not, you won't get a flat. I got a flat on the Varla Eagle one. It was kind of a pain to change the inner tube and inner tubes are expensive and hard to get. These will never go flat and that's really nice. All right, I got the knee pads on. I'm wearing both gloves. I learned the hard way. Scooters probably sketch me out more than any other PEV. Just because of the geometry of it, like you're steering up here and then you got a tiny little wheel there you're standing just sort of it's scary however and i'm already noticing it varla recognized that and they did a workaround which i'm gonna talk about in a second normal thumb throttle i prefer the thumb throttle to the trigger so i'm glad they did that go up into the highest power mode wish me luck oh 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 <laughs> oh my god this is much faster than I was expecting. I'm gonna pass this car. Woo! <laughs> they said this was slower than the Varla Eagle One. Dude, that's sick. You ever see like a red bike riding around? Red bike electric? Yeah. Doing really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm really shocked. I'm genuinely shocked how strong this is. They went ahead and put uh, steering dampers on on the front, so it's actually a little harder to turn the handlebars. It's actually considerably harder to turn the handlebars than, say, the Varley Eagle One that does not have the steering stabilizer. And as a result, it's just not as squirrely up front. Very, very stable. I'm hauling. I am hauling right now. There's no reason I would want to go any faster than I'm going right now. I'm genuinely hype on this. Woo. Yay! Ooh, let's see how it takes this. Oh. oh, nice clearance on there. It goes right down the curb. Yeah. 
I was thinking since this is the more budget model that Varla offers that it would be a little underwhelming compared to the Eagle One which I had the opportunity to review already. But this blew my mind, very happy with this. I, I think for the steering stabilizer alone I would choose this over the Eagle One. Even though the Eagle One's considerably more expensive, this goes more than fast enough. And it's got the tires that don't go flat. It's like the ultimate urban commuter right here, seriously. I got one more thing I want to do before I sign off. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. I'll see you then. Alright, day two with the Varla Pegasus. I wanted to try something fun, mix it up a little bit. So I got a little idea. Let's see how it works. That feels pretty good. My goal in life is to burn as few calories as possible. That's why I got into the whole electric thing. It moves you without you needing to move yourself. So if I'm gonna ride a scooter, I may as well sit down. Let's see how it feels. That was fun putting a little makeshift seat on the scooter. It works. It's not safe by any means, but it works. Just one last thing before I sign off. I'm going to go ahead and stab the tires and make sure that they truly don't go flat like I was told. It's literally just solid rubber. There's nothing even to puncture. Ever, I think anything with wheels should have wheels like this. The ones that don't go flat. Massive shout out to Varla for sending this my way. There should be some discount codes in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all the support. Got some good stuff coming your way. And you know what that means. So stay tuned. Yeah.